Civilizations, I believe, come to birth and proceed to grow by successfully responding to successive challenges. They break down and go to pieces when a challenge confronts them, which they fail to meet. Arnold Toyman. When I mention the term ancient Rome, what comes to mind? How about Greece or Egypt? Now what if I mention the term the Indus Valley? What comes to mind? Probably not a lot, and if it did, I commend you. If not, I'm Bear, and welcome to the Scarly Cheese Guild, where we'll be talking about what the Indus Valley is and its significance. So, we see that the Indus Valley is actually in modern-day India and Pakistan. It originated when farmers built villages along the Indus River. When historians usually talk about the Indus Valley, they categorize as the first early Harappan, the mature Harappan, and the late Harappan phase. During the early Harappan phase, around 33,000 BCE, we see that the Indus Valley experienced rapid growth. This led them to develop two major cities called Harappa and Mohenjo Daro. These cities housed around 40,000 people and were known as the first cities to have a sewage system as well as a drainage system. This led for their population to be able to use fresh water from wells. We see that the Indus Valley constructed their house using clay and bricks. They had a separate room for the bath while they had another room for wastewater. In the city, they had private and public bathhouses where the water would usually be drained using terracotta pipes. However, their inventions didn't stop there. Before we talk about more things that they created, let's take a break and go on to Mischief Corner. Mm. I'm sorry, my friends. I'm so tired. And I fell asleep earlier because their segment could be used as a cure for insomnia. Well, that's enough of that. Today, I'm in the business of beating dead horses and giving out facts. And I'm all out of horses to beat. <clears throat> Today's fact is a fact that 9 out of 10 dentists recommend. Dentistry happens to be the oldest medical practice, dating back to 7,000 BCE. The original founders of this practice happened to be the Indus civilization. They completed many dental procedures, such as bow drills done by skilled craftsmen, and treating tooth decay. Now, tooth decay in that time was attributed to pesky things called <clears throat> it wasn't until the 1700s that the claim of tooth worms was indeed proven wrong. It took some serious detective work, so we must get out our magnifying glasses. Yes. But, yeah, the true villains were lurking in our mouths all alone. What a jack fact that is. <laughs> Anyways, as I said before, we see that the Indus Valley highly relies on their drainage system, basing their farming on techniques such as irrigation. We even see that they use dams and walls to make use of their most natural resource, water. During flooding season, they would use shad poos and sakias to get the water back to ground level. However, the Indus Valley did not only focus on sewage inventions, we see other things like seashells as buttons, bow drills, shampoo, sesame oil, hydraulic engineering, and everyone's favorite, toilets that flush. Although the Indus civilization began to decline during the 1800s, well, 1800 BCE, for unknown reason, we still can feel the effects of it today. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to check out our channel, like, subscribe, and share. Okay, bye!